Hello, so today we're back and we have got, as you can see in the box in front of us, the Amphibio, which is Noctum Macro Amphibio Multi. When depth, when depth and speed and sturdiness matter, the way to go is the Amphibio. Nice little round there, it looks nice on the box, so let's have a look, it's waterproof. Seven optional coils to use one. Oh, so you need seven coils. It's got the 11 inch coil, offers that extra depth you are looking for. Retractable shaft for easy transport. New keypad backlight, slideable armrest. Waterproof up to 16.4 foot, 5 meters. Oh, very nice. Three selectable target ID depth levels, fast recovery speed, extra underground depth, advanced speech mode, new coil design. Let's get into this. So it's already open. I just opened it so it was a bit easier. I had not to mess around with tape. So first things first, we've got the Max and Macro Detecting Technology Cap. We've got an LP, we've got this off LP. Beanie with the bubble. Not sponsored. That's just where I went for the edit. With this, you got the underwater pro pointer, which is nice, which you can just charge up. Let's see if I can open it. So it just charges. So we just charge and go. Looks simple enough. Obviously, we'll read instruction on button. Lighting's not that good. On button F A. So we need to read the instructions to see what that is. Just a little twist pull and you get that off. So there's that part. And then I think yeah, we've got the green macro headphones. Very nice. We've got the charging plugs and cables to charge it up. We've got the grommets and For the to connect the coil, we've got accessories for the pro pointer. We've then got the trowel we got with it. Nice big plastic trowel. Nice. Put that there. Then you get actually the nice double D search coil connect with the it's already on which is good coil, coil, coil cover the stem bottom stem main piece of kit itself the actual machine with the adjustable arm next The red button, move it where you want it, pop the red button back, and then that's in place. So, we can just take it down. so then we've got obviously the machine itself. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put it together and we'll be right back. We're back and we've got it set up as you can see, nice and set up. Switch it on, and let's watch it go crazy. in the house but we'll get it out on a field test and we'll see how it does hello welcome back so we're out today with lad and dad we're on the green man metal detecting's permission but he's busy today so he's not with us we've got lad and dad sat over there digging a hole i'm out with the new machine today i got the macro amphibio multi so we're out today and I think we'll find our first decent find with it. So we found the coin. I don't know if it's modern or not. You can't really 
see much detail on it. I'll try and clean it up a bit. So we can get a date or something off it. But I think up to now it's just a fully corroded coin. But it is a coin, so that's the main thing we found. Our first coin with the amphibio. So let's see if we can find some more. We'll be back on the next one. Hello, we're back. So has anyone got any ideas whether this is just off a farm machine? An agricultural machine or if it's something. I'm thinking it might just be something off a farmer's machine. Maybe, because this was obviously ploughed land. So, any ideas? Let me know in the comments below. See you on the next one. Hello, welcome back. So, I think you might find a bag seal. A nice lead bag seal. We'll have to clean it up properly because we keep wiping more and more down to it than I'm taking off it. But it's either the flattest musket ball I've ever found or a nice little bag seal. What do you reckon? It's got a bit of a but that could be off of it, it could just be a flat musket ball. Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Hello, welcome back. So, we've just got this out. It's a nice 81, it's a bit bent, as you can see there. I'm not too sure what it is, I don't know if it's some sort of button. It's got a, a little mounting on the back there. I reckon it could have been some sort of military button, or just some random button. Looks good, whatever it is. Got a square, it's got a little pattern in the middle. Let me just wipe it a bit. See a little pattern there, but I don't know if that's just where it's been hit by something. But yeah, it might be a button with the obviously having that little clasp thing on the back. It looks like a clasp or a mount for something. If anyone got any ideas, leave it in the comments below and we'll be back and find something else. Well, so we found a nice button. Looks like a nice four holder, so I can clean it a bit better. But yeah, I'm going to put more dirt onto it. But yeah, nice little button for us there. I've been one of the buttons for a while. So, we'll be back if we find anything else. So I'm just swinging the detector, and on the surface, we find a buckle. Probably not old. Hello, welcome. So, I think I found a copy of button. Just gonna clean it off a bit. I think there's a just stab itself. Yeah, so, uh, some sort of. some sort of mount. What sort of. I come in out of 55. Never had come out of 51. 49 to 51. I've had another button out of 66, and I've had a, a load of lead at 88. So it makes no sense. So I need to learn this machine anyway. First time out with it. But yeah, a nice little bad tool button. As you can see, there's a little shaft there. Yeah. Any ideas? We'll obviously clean it up when we get back, see if we can find out what it is. So, see you on the next one. Right, so we're back with another um, another hole. We've just got our nail on the stone. And down here, we've got, hopefully, it's a coin, but I don't think it is. Looks like it might just be a, some sort of token or a bag seal. Look at it, yeah. It's got a hole in the top there. I'll clean it up and I'll come back. Right, so we've cleaned it up. I think it's a plate for a gas main. So if you look there, it says I think it's L Gas CA 1 CWT. And then I can't wait out what this says underneath. can't work out what that says. But yeah, so that's what we've just found. I was hoping it was a coin, but it 
it's not. I was back on the next one. Hello, welcome. So, I found my first bag seal on this field. Um, I'm just trying to clean it up a bit. Yeah, nice little bag seal. They're from 1898, by looked Uh, yeah, 1898. Nice little bag seal. First one I found. So, back and found them tonight. Nice, so proper choppy signal. But we got, I'll just rub the load of dirt onto it. A musket ball. Nothing special. But yeah, we'll be back if we find anything else. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Just a musket ball. We'll be back.